Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about the Lasso Select tool. So, Lasso Select is actually new to SketchUp Pro 2022. If you're using an older version, you might not actually see this in the UI. So, uh, yeah, if this is far someday in the future where all the versions have it, then you're good to go. If you're using something before 2022, you won't find it though. But uh, for those of you who are using it, let's hop in and learn how to use it. Here we go. Okay, so Lasso Select is, it's actually a couple ways you can get to it. Uh, up here, it's nested under Select. So if I hit the little down arrow next to the Select arrow, you can see I can choose Select or Lasso. It is also under Tools, so it's right here, Lasso Select. And of course, if I go turn on my big toolbar, my large tool set, it is right here to the right of standard select. So regardless how you get into it, you'll know you're in it because you won't have just a regular arrow cursor, you'll have an arrow cursor with a lasso. So the way this works is pretty simple. Uh, it's gonna let you click and drag and draw a line. As I'm, I'm holding the mouse button down right now. So I can actually weave through here and choose which pieces I want and which pieces I don't want, I can skip over. And when I release, there, only, only certain pieces get selected. That's kind of it. The same, the same functionality at, uh, exists with modifier keys. I can hold down the shift key, I'll get the plus minus. So uh, pieces that I grab with the lasso are added to it. Or if I go hold it down again, they're subtracted. If I hit the uh, option or alt key, I will go into an add only mode. And then of course, shift plus option or alt will give me the minus. So I'm only subtracting. So the big thing, the big difference between, well, obviously I'm not just selecting a rectangle. I'm actually selecting a whatever shape I want. Uh, but one of the things that happens with this similar to the regular select window is the direction that I drag this select loop this lasso shape around in is going to control what items are selected all right so you'll notice there if i if i drag and i drag left to right see a little dotted line that's connecting back to the beginning if i go right to left notice how it's a solid line this is exactly the same functionality that i see in select in select if i drag left to right i get a dotted window left to right i get a solid window so right to left, that dashed window, anything that this window crosses at all, even by a pixel, gets selected. So this triangle right here, this cylinder right here, this cube over here, if I release, it gets selected. If I drag the other way, only things that are completely within the window are gonna get selected. So this cube on the top, this little cylinder here, this cube down here, aren't gonna get selected because they weren't fully inside. Same goes for dragging a window with lasso. So with lasso, if I can, I wanna drag left, I'm sorry, if I drag right to left, anything that I hit, so you'd see none of these are actually inside the window right now, but if I release, they all get selected. If I was to go the other way and do that same thing where, I, look, I'm dragging over each of these, if I release, none of them gets highlighted because going left to right, only items that are fully inside the lasso will get selected. This is controllable. If I go up to my preferences window, preferences under SketchUp on Mac, it's an under Windows menu on Windows. Under drawing, I have an option here that says which direction is crossing selection. By default, counterclockwise, which matches the default for a normal select, is selected, but you can swap it if you want to. That is pretty much it. So lasso select is nice if you have, are you working with a lot of pieces, a lot of components, and uh, maybe you're working on a different tool like a tablet too, where it's easier to do this rather than click individual items. But uh, for making selections that are not contiguous, they're not connected together, or clustered together, it's a nice way to highlight items rather than using the regular select. So, there you go. That is everything I can think to tell you about Lasso Select. It is a nice option to have. It's like I said, at the time of this recording, it's a newer option. So uh, time will tell how much people use it to do selection versus 
you know, pick selecting or dragging the, the window. And a lot of people who are used to using SketchUp are used to that and they're used to using the shift key to add and remove from the selection and they, they find that pretty quick. But I would be interested to hear in your thoughts. What do you think of Lasso Select? Have you been waiting for it? Do you like it? Do you use it? Uh, what use cases do you see where you think you're really going to get in there and, and use Lasso? Love to hear about that. If you haven't already, please do like this video and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe. We make several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment. Like I said, tell me what you think of Lasso Select or if there's any other functionality in SketchUp you think would make a good Square One video. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.